belongs to us. What are you talking about? That's my ship. I paid for it. You really should have sold her when I asked. You too. You're searching for the unicorns, aren't you? Why are you so interested in these unicorns? There were three unicorns, all built by Sir Francis Haddock. Heirlooms for his three sons. Shut it! You talk too much. And each ship has a scroll hidden in the mast. Now, what would that be about, I wonder? It's nothing. Those ships are not important. You expect me to believe that? I guess we're talking about buried treasure. Is that right? You ask too many questions. It's my job. It's what I do. That's enough! If you have the scroll, I want it. Or what? He disappeared! Watch yourself. He's small but tough. Uh, Stop uh, right there! What? Uh, I'm going! Uh, 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 what? I see him! Where are my servants when I need them? Get back here! Where are my servants when I need them? Watch yourself. He's small but tough. What you? Uh, I'll have a look. Stop hiding. Maxine, uh, Nesta, uh, here. Uh, Stop. Watch yourself. He's small but tough. Uh, he's there! Let's go! Ah! Maxime! Nesta! Here! Maxime! Nesta! Here! My servants when I need them! Uh, Get back here, I say! Uh, Stop right there! And now, let's see what you unicorns have up your sleeves. Nothing. Must be mine. Let's try the other one. Yes, Snowy! We've got it! Nothing there either. Dirty little pest. Gracious. Is this what you're looking for? The scroll. He has it with him.
This is your last chance, kid. Where is the scroll? I don't have the scroll. Then we won't be needing you anymore. <laughs> Ow! Huh? Ah. Mm. Why, thank you, gentlemen. I believe I owe you one. Alan, I've got it. Hey, what are you doing? You mean, you're also looking for... Who are you? Bring him along. He knows things. Casting off! Who's this dog belong to? What dog? Ah. So, matey, how'd you like your new quarters? Who are you? Where are you taking me? On a nice cruise. Travel broadens the mind, don't you agree? Do you work for the Bird Brothers? The Bird Brothers are no longer a problem. They were even quite, shall we say, cooperative. My boss wants the other one. Where is it? Sorry, gentlemen. Can't help you. <sighs> Did you search him? Yeah, Tintin. Press card and that's it. No scroll. Hmm. Shall we chuck him overboard? OK, genius. I'll let you explain that one to the boss. Lieutenant! Not now. You need it. It's the captain. He's, uh... <sighs> what, again? He's gone off the deep end. <sighs> All right, I'm coming. If I were you, I'd start talking now, before we make port.
This heat's insufferable. I wonder where this boat's going. Let's try this direction. Find Alan. I'm looking forward to having a little chat with this Alan. These scrolls have got to mean something. Oh, can't get my sea legs back under me, that's all. to get 
my hands on Alan's scroll. these pistons. these gears.
Give up already, will ya? Please keep what? quiet, all right? What? It's okay. Everything's fine. Who are you? Uh, me? No one. Don't mind me. I'm already gone. Were you talking to someone, Captain? Uh, uh, no one. So, Captain, what's all this fuss Alan, about, then? I'm sick of being hauled up in here. What's wrong? You got a nice cabin. I'm hauled up in the hold. And what I want is my boat back. My boat. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm the captain. Sure you are. But you know full well. What? Your family has never been very good with ships. Ugh. And we know why. Oh, the cars. Precisely. Listen, the ship's in good hands with me, but you'll get it back soon. I just need the helm for this little operation. Uh, listen, I was just saying to Tim... Me? I was telling Tim that we need you. Huh? There you go. Red is for longitude, blue for latitude. Crayons! Be a sport and calculate our heading for the next two hours, eh? You think I'm a fool? Scoundrel! Imposter! Have fun now. I've got a passenger to deal with. What sort of passenger? An unwelcome one. Remember, red for latitude, blue for longitude. But you said the opposite, Chief. Ah, go make a plank, then walk it. <sighs> Who was that? Was it Alan? Where was he going? Um, up top. To the wheelhouse. In the control room. Is oh. it true that you're the captain of this ship?
shoots! Quit running! He can't have gotten very far. Taken more beatings than you've handed out, eh? <laughs> this direction. I'll have you up to me. Hands in the air. Get back here! <coughs>
Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company. Why did you decide to stick your nose in my affairs? You're the ones who forced me to come along. Uh, well, if you give me your scroll, you can get off my ship at the next port. You're lying, and this is not your ship. Ah, oh, so you've met Haddock. Well, he isn't the captain anymore. He's what you might call a shipwreck. Haddock? The captain's name is Haddock! Ah! Come and fight! Drop your weapon, Alan! Man to man! Man to bit, squeak more like! Ah! Hands where we can Who see do him! you work for? Ah! Stop right where you are! Give me your scroll! What's so ah! special about them? This has got to end now! I know you're there! What? Stop right where you are! You! Ah! 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 Miss me! It's not over! Where we could see him. Huh. What about you? Who do you work for? The little twentieth. Ah. You'll find him. Ah. Ah. He got what was coming to him. Second scroll. That's the scroll he stole from the Bird Brothers. And now I'm going to put things straight with that Captain Haddock. If there's some link between him and Sir Francis Haddock, there's a high chance he can help us. Three brothers. We know that there are three scrolls. Mine, the Bird Brothers. Let's think, Snowy. I don't know who Alan works for, but I'm willing to bet he's got the third scroll. Captain, are you the descendant of Sir Francis Haddock? Captain of the Triple Masted Unicorn under King Charles II? Huh? Who are you again? My name is Tintin. I'm a reporter. I have in my possession two scrolls handwritten by the very same Sir Francis Haddock. I'm in search of treasure. The long lost treasure of the unicorn. That's enough! I don't want to talk about all that! Alan! Alan is a bandit. He's double crossed you so he can take command of your ship. And you know it. I'm going to have you put in irons! Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. <sighs> Captain, I can help you as much as you can help me. Just tell me what you know. It is the year 1676. The Unicorn, a valiant ship of King Charles II's fleet has left Barbados in the West Indies and set sail for Europe. The captain is indeed my ancestor, Sir Francis Haddock, to my great misfortune. Two days at sea, a good stiff breeze, and the unicorn is reaching on the starboard tack. Suddenly, there's a hail aloft from the crow's nest. Sail on the port bow! <sighs> The Jolly Roger. Pirates. Worse. Red Rackham. The wind's in their favor. We've got to outsail them. She's Man the poop. Stand by to haul to the wind. Then 
We shall fight. Gunners, to your stations! Fire! We put a hole through our jib! But it wasn't enough. Prepare to be boarded! They're swarming over the side! No quarter! Who is that, Captain? The devil. I wish it well, Mr. Leganek. I wish it well. Yeah. Brutus Sonus! Curse you! 